Pokemon Generation 5 has deemed itself to be one of the most popular generations of Pokemon. Like Pokemon Black and White are some of the most amazing games along with Black and White 2. And in my opinion, the whole Black and White franchise has some of the coolest lore and backstory to it. I think the original Dragon stuff is really interesting and has so much potential to be in more games in the future. And it's been years since Black and White 2 and with the recent leaks and rumors about an open world Pokemon game going back to the Unova region, it begs the question, will Pokemon Black and White 3 ever come out? Since the rumors suggest that Game Freak is going back to the Unova region for an upcoming game, Maybe they're setting it up for a black and white 3, or maybe this game will kind of technically be black and white 3, but with a different name and gameplay style. Because the leaks look like this is going to be an open world style game, going back to the Innova region, and of course if they made black and white 3, I feel like they wouldn't change the entire gameplay style to be open world. I feel like they would just go with the classic, you know, like linear style Pokemon games that black and white, black and white 2 had. Now there's a lot of questions to be asked when it comes to Black and White 3, such as if or when it'll ever come out, how the graphics will be or the online features and stuff like that. I think Black and White 3 would have similar graphics. Of course it'd be updated, probably a little bit clearer, not so like pixely, but definitely reminiscent of that OG Pokemon feel. I don't think that they'd do a chibi style like BDSP. People don't like the chibi style too much. I think more dynamic battle animations would be great for Black and White 3 because I feel like some of the more recent battle animations in Pokemon games have become a little sloppy or just not as good as they used to be, maybe a little lazy. I know a lot of people agree with that, but then again, like also some of the animations look really cool. It's it's strange. Like some animations are great, some are just like, what was, what was that? It'd be so awesome to get an expanded storyline of the entire Unova region and Gen 5 itself. Like, you know, get some unexpected twists, some character development, something that we weren't expecting, but something that we would still love to see and of course if there's another gen 5 you know of a game there will be an expanded storyline that's basically guaranteed when it comes to any brand new pokemon game especially one that's revisiting like an old region or something like that and of course with a new pokemon game we're gonna see some new pokemon forms that just kind of offers us a refreshed look at some of our favorite pokemon you know like different regional variants or different variants in general of pokemon that we already know and love it's always cool to see you know like a different color way seeing some similar faces of course would be something to expect with a potential black and white 3 game just something to kind of connect the whole storyline together and something else that pokemon games in general not even just pokemon black and white 3 just any pokemon game out there in the future is just better versions of online features the online features in most pokemon games are just not very great you know it takes forever to load trading pokemon takes forever it's just too much so it'd be nice to have better co-op features better trading features just anything to connect us with friends make it easier, make it feel like we're going on the journey with them. It just is always so complicated with Nintendo and online features, but, you know, maybe the next console will offer us a significantly better online. Something else is just having a balanced game. So when it comes to Pokemon games, some of them are too easy, some are too hard. It's good to have some balance, you know, even when it comes to competitive play. With Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, a lot of people thought it was way too easy, which kind of made it a little bit unenjoyable just because it's like, there's no challenge. You're not really trying too hard to beat the game, which I kind of do agree. I feel like Scarlet and Violet was really easy. It was still a really fun game though. You know, I really enjoyed the open world style. The last two things I'd personally really want would be an expanded Unova region and a storyline that's meaningful and memorable. It's always awesome to see new areas of a region that we've already seen. You know, if we're going back to the Unova region, let's get access to some parts that we weren't able to go before or maybe just like an unlocked area that we didn't even know existed. In my opinion, I feel like the main storyline should be heavily based around the original dragon. If you don't know, the original dragon was made of three Pokemon, Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kiram, and Black and White 3 would be the third game, making it a trilogy, which there aren't any trilogies of Pokemon games, so that would be pretty awesome if there was a trilogy. And I think Black and White 3 is obviously the perfect game to have a trilogy. So, you know, the third game, three dragons, you know, got the three going on right there. It'd be really sweet to see how the three dragons, you know, split the moment they split or whatever, or just some type of origin story of that dragon, get a glimpse of it in the past, or just anything about the original dragon, because we don't really know much about it. It's like the biggest mystery. Of course, nothing is confirmed by Nintendo. These are all just like theories, and these are just little things that I'd want to see in a black and white three, and the potential of it coming out, because I do think it's possible. I definitely think it's possible for a black and white 3 to release and if it ever does i don't think it would come out for a while though i think we'd have to wait a long time because we're gonna get 
The DLC this year, 2024, it looks like we might get the open world Unova region game, which, like I said earlier, that might just technically be Black and White 3, but they're probably not going to call it Black and White 3. It's probably going to be Legends, you know, Unova or Legends Kiram or Legends Original Dragon, you know. And if we did see a Black and White 3, it would probably be on the next generation Nintendo console. I don't think the Switch would ever see Black and White 3. And I think Nintendo knows that Black and White in the Nova region is just so popular. I know the games didn't sell as well as some of the uh, previous games. Over the years, it's become such a popular series and they're very expensive too. Like you, Black and White 2 is like $150 or something like that. It's crazy. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys would want a Black and White 3, and let me know if you have any theories or storylines that you'd want to see in this game. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.